Hi, beautiful. I'm feeling so gay. Pride Month does something to me. It changes me into somebody that I love. I mean, I always love myself, but like even more so, if that's even possible. You guys probably know by now that I like to have painted nails. I usually always have painted nails. It makes me feel complete. It makes me feel clean. When I don't have my nails painted, I feel like I look lazy. It's like a weird thing that happens. I feel like to a lot of people when they start painting their nails, it's like when you don't have them painted, you're like, mm, I'm Gross, like this is disgusting. So I'm feeling disgusting right now. And this weekend I have a bunch of pride events. I wanna look cute and I want it to be rainbow. Have I ever done anything like this before? No. Have I done gel polishes on myself before and done a lot of creative Yeah. Does it come out that great? Sometimes no, sometimes yeah. Today we're hoping for the yeah, like it's gonna come out great. I'm gonna be doing something I've never tried before. And listen, even when I'm doing just like one color of gel polish on my nails, it's hard already. I don't know what this is gonna be like doing this ombre shit, especially on these nails, they're tiny. Not a lot of space here, so I'm gonna try and do it. Probably go insane halfway through, but what else is new? Whenever I try things, I usually go crazy. So if you wanna see me in pain today, come to the right video. Uh, so why don't we just do it? I'm gonna follow a tutorial on how to do like ombre rainbow nails and hopefully it comes out cute because I need to wear these tomorrow and I'm not gonna have any time to soak them off. So let's do it. Welcome to Brad's Nail Salon. I got way too many polishes over here. Put my lamp over here, some brushes over here, a little bit of polish remover kind of stuff. A little fun fact about me is I watch nail videos all the time. Um, I find them fascinating and I and it's just really like therapeutic for me to like watch people do nails well. Let's talk about a little bit about my nails again. Uh, so as you can see, they're not the cutest, but they'll do, you know? They're gonna be way cuter when we're done. I wanna do a good job. I wanna impress you guys, I really do. That's always my goal. I want people to think I'm good at like every beauty thing in the world, which isn't true, but I like to think that sometimes I can be good at things, you know? This video is by Lizette Cruz, and this is called Hard Gel Rainbow Nails. Watch me do my nails, builder gel nails tutorial, pride nails. Let's just watch some of this video together. I skimmed through it earlier um, and kind of saw the finished result, and I really liked it. Okay, right off the bat, I don't have what she has. I have just polishes. I am going to do a vertical ombre, so I'm adding the green to the left side, and then I will be adding the blue. Before I pick up the next color, I just- What is this? Brush. Um, you said gel polishes. What are these? I go back and forth adding greens and blues. So she is using this stuff that I don't really know what it is, but I guess it's gel polish, and I guess this is gonna have to suffice for that. Um, I also have makeup brushes, which I feel like, you know what? They're the same thing, right? Like, it'll be fine. I feel like I can use these. Like, look at them. They're, they're cute. How do I blend it? Tell me. So she's putting green and blue together, which is like scary, because I feel like I don't know how to blend nail polishes. How it looks, I cure it for 60 seconds and move. She made that look way too easy. There's absolutely no way it's gonna be that easy. Building up this product because I am going to be encapsulating it with clear in the end. And I'm going to- I feel like it's definitely not gonna work the same way it's working for her because I don't have the stuff she's using, but it's fine. It's fine. So we got green first. I feel like I don't have green. It's like sort of a green, it's like turquoise. And that's green, right? <laughs> That's something. That's definitely greenish. Um, okay, not doing great here. This is what happens when you don't plan your videos in advance. Uh, what? Where? What? Where are all the colors? I don't exactly have green, so we're gonna mix these two colors. It's like a light. I don't know what you call this, like a light something. And then we have a turquoise. So hopefully that makes a green. Well, actually, I'm just gonna mix the yellow and the turquoise together to make green. We need blue. I got one of them. That's a pretty blue. Purple. I feel like I want this one. Coral. That's not coral. Coral, I need coral. Yellow. Got that. Orange, we need orange. That took me like 60 minutes to just pick out the colors. This is going swimmingly so far. Uh, okay, so I'll show you what I got here. The green, uh, but I'm mixing this blue with yellow, okay, to make green. We have purple, we have pink. That one's so pretty, I'm excited about that. And we have coral and yellow. Ooh, that's fun. Dude, my nails are gonna look sick. I'm sorry, I'm already calling it. All right, if I can do this, like I can do anything. All right, so she basically takes the color, puts it on the nail, and then blends in between. She makes it look so easy and I'm mad about it. Put that to the side here. I'll come back to her if I need her. Look girl, for now, you scare me. Let me just clean off my nails with some alcohol, put on a clear coat and I'll be back. 
Okay, now that my nails look super dry, um, hee <laughs> hee, I love it. If anybody knows anything about nails out there, um, it's all about really, really thin coats of polish. That's what I've learned over my time of doing gel. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, where's the rest of it? Off to a good start. Off to a great start. I'm gonna look like a psycho at these parties tomorrow. Or I'm gonna look cool, I don't know, either one. All right, so it's all about doing extremely thin coats of everything you do. That's the secret to making this shit stay. See, ah, it's beautiful. All right, we'll cure that shit up. Fun fact about me too, uh, when I was in hair school, I was like the only one who loved doing nails. I would take all the nail clients. I thought it was so fun and I still do, I still love it. I don't know what it is, but it's like a good time. Okay, we have been cured of all of our illnesses. Now I have to do the hard things. I've never done this before, that's for sure. I've never tried to mix my own polish color. <laughs> good luck to me, I don't know. That seems like enough. Okay, that looks green. Not green enough though. No green and off my kit, my mate. All right, I think I'm gonna use this brush actually. Why do I never do this? Why do I never use a brush like this? This is so much easier. All right, so she starts with the green on this side. Oh my God, this is so hard already. And we're just gonna go in and do, oh my Lord, a little doo-doo right on the edge here. I'll be here all day, baby. I will be here all day and all night. That looks good. And now we go in with the blue. Just grab a little bit of that blue. Okay, now, how the f am I supposed to blend this? Wait, what? Are you guys seeing this? Oh my God, that looks so good. That looks really good, holy sh why does that look perfect? I'm so happy and I'm so excited now. Okay, now let's go back with the blue and now we're gonna travel on to the next nail. Now, a little fun fact about me, you might be like, Brad, why don't you just get your nails done? You know, that's a great comment, Jennifer. Thank you for asking. Um, The reason I don't get my nails done, I don't like making an appointment and I don't like sitting there. I just don't like going to the nail salon. Like I just don't. And I also like feel like when people do it at your house, it just never looks great. Maybe I just haven't done gone to the right people. I just feel like I can't justify spending like hundreds of dollars on my nails. And for shit like this, they make you pay so much money. And I'm like, oh, 200. Girl, get out of my face with that shit. You know what I mean? Like I prefer not to pay that much for my nails. Even if I can afford it, like I just don't. You gotta beat the nail polish a little bit. You gotta give it a little slap. All right, we're going in with the purple. So far, guys, this is actually going too well. Like, I don't know what's gonna happen. It is very light, I will say. Like, all these colors are very, very light and are gonna need a little bit of um, work when it comes to layering. But if that's all, I will take that. Let me tell you also, I've never tried painting with a brush this small, but this is working out <laughs> really well. Way better than anything I've ever used paint my nails. Like the thing that comes in the thing, it doesn't work well. This purple's too light. I need to do a different one. Here we go. We're bringing out the big guns now. We got this dark purple here. Ooh, she's pretty. She has arrived. The purple came to the show finally. I thought this would be like funny to watch me do this and it'd be like me freaking out the whole time. But honestly, so far, I'm not freaking out. This is gonna pop so much when I do um, the next coat. <laughs> We have made a bit of progress. This is so therapeutic for me. I'm like in my zone. This is what I was meant to do. Screw hair. I'm starting, I'm doing a nail channel from now on. This is probably one of the most fun videos I've made in a while. As much as I love doing hair, it's nice taking a break from it. Now the gradient has gotten a little bit blurry, but I think it'll be fine once I do the next coats. I think it's just a little bit too light. This one in particular, the purple to pink, you can't really see much. That This one's really pretty though. The purple to um, coral. <gasps> Gorgeous. So we got to do coral now over to the thumb. What I was saying was I love doing hair, but sometimes when your whole life has been hair, hair, sometimes you just want a little bit of a break from it. These little breaks I take from doing the hair content really make me happy. Honestly though, it's really hard to talk right now. Yo, YouTubers don't, don't get enough credit sometimes for like being able to entertain while doing extremely hard tasks. Like when people are doing crazy makeup things and they're like talking throughout the whole thing. I don't know, girl, that's a lot. Bam, onto the yellow which is my last color on my thumb. I hope this isn't boring, but I feel like it's not. I feel like even if you don't give a f about nails, it is so fun watching these nail videos. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Maybe nobody's gonna relate to this. Nobody's gonna like it, but that's totally fine. That won't be the first time that's happened, so. 
So this is one coat complete. It obviously doesn't look perfect yet because it is still see-through as f We're gonna cure this and do it all over again. We're on to the last coat and oh my God. <laughs> Why do these look so good? We've run into one problem, I will say. It's not like I was gonna get through this whole video without having an issue. Like, you know what I mean? Like, how is that gonna happen? And the issue is that I, I was, I was, um, I was using a paper towel to wipe my brush off. Paper towels um, have a lot of fuzz on them, and so the fuzz has been getting on my nails, but it's okay. We're doing one last coat, I think. Maybe four coats, I don't know. We'll see how many we need here, but I could not be any more proud of myself. This came out way better than I thought it was gonna be. I should stop saying that, because like, I'm not done. And what if it doesn't look good? Whatever, I'll wear it anyways, you know? I don't really care. As long as they don't come off, like that has happened, where I've done them wrong, and the next day they're like off my face. Like the gel just, all falls off and I'm like, ah, okay, totally, let's not do that anymore, thank you. Anyways, besides that, um, my life has been really nice lately. I have been really busy lately and I like that, I do. I like being needed. Sometimes though, Brad gets a little bit cranky when he's overworked um, and I've been focusing more on myself and my health doing more, working out more, eating better. Uh, also, I mean, like I said before, just doing videos that I want to do and not being scared of like not getting views. As a YouTuber, like that's a scary thing. Um, you don't ever want to feel like you have like flopped, but you also can't let that like really get to you. So I've been doing a lot better at that, like not caring so much about if people care about what I'm doing um, because it's not about them. Well, it is, it's about you guys as well, but this is my job and I do take that into consideration as well. But I also just wanna have fun with my content and I just refuse to make my job feel like work, which it has recently, like, but it's feeling like work. <laughs> um, and it's a bit draining. So we're doing better with that and just giving myself a little more freedom to do what I wanna do. Like if I wanna sit down and paint my nails one day. Guess who's gonna do it? Me. This is my second favorite nail, by the way. Uh, the pink to orange is spectacular. The gradient is so pretty. All my nail techs out there are f quaking right now. Like, sorry. Sorry that I took your job. You know what my favorite part about doing nails is too? At the end, when I um, put the oil on my nails, I feel like it just brings it to life. You know what I mean? Like you ever get your nails done and you're like, mm, these look kind of ratchet. And then they put that magical oil on and you're like, you really did that. And it actually looks beautiful. Thank you. This one's my least favorite. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's not really working out great for me. Uh, this yellow, it's tough. It's gonna need like 10 f coats. And I'm not here for that. Like, girl, can you show up or what? It's also so hard to blend this one. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna do another one last shenanigan around the nails and hopefully I can top the mother off and then do the other hand. Dude, look how good they look. Okay, wait, but there's one final thing that I just told you before. It's my favorite part. We're gonna put some oil on these phalanges of mine because they look dry. And this just brings the whole look together. I don't know, it just makes me so happy. I honestly can't believe this came out so good. Ah! Except for this one. This one's kind of ugly, but it's fine. We're gonna get that all in there. Oh yes, put the oil in there. Yo. Oh my goodness. Hi. Oh my God, what? Who did my nails? So funny you ask. I actually did them myself. All the nail artists out there are like, they, they actually look really ugly. And I'm over here like so proud of myself. No, I mean like, I feel like they look good. I mean, listen, for the first time me doing anything like this, I can't believe how good they blend. Like how good the colors are blended. Like it doesn't make any sense to me. Like how does that work? I'm obsessed. But now is the sad part. I have to do my whole other f hand now. I mean, like I did like 1700 coats in this nail. Oh, well, I guess it's time. Now we're never, baby. <laughs> I'll tell you, I have just about had it. Um, I was really enjoying myself. My energy levels have been depleted completely. I feel like I wanna 
cry. This has been so difficult. I forgot that I had like an opposite hand. Like I'm a righty and like when I do things with the left hand, it doesn't work out as well. So I've just had a, a very hard time perfecting this and it doesn't look that perfect. It looks fine. I'm not mad about it, but I'm exhausted and I want to be done with this. You nail techs out there doing your own right hands you're crazy i also lost count um of how many layers i did so i think we're just gonna do one more and hope for the best don't do this seems like fun and but then you do it there's definitely like a fun element to it i, I don't know how i'm gonna stick with not doing ombres because this has been really hard it honestly takes like that one little little flick of the brush to get the colors to blend if you do too many flicks you're Will I make it out alive? I don't know. I would like to go work out and enjoy the rest of my night, but I have a feeling I'm gonna be stuck here. Ugh, let me just tell you guys also, this is a random side note. I am so much happier now that I get to like leave my house. Everything in New York is open back up. It's been really cool, like not wearing a mask. It's been so freeing. Get your vaccines, you guys. Oh my God, I get to put a clear coat on now. Oh, I'm so happy. My back is broken. What's the secret? Am I supposed to not be leaning over? How does this work? I want to know what the secret is here, but my nails look sick. I did it. Now time for my favorite part. A little bit of that on there. Oh, look at me holding this thing. I can't even hold it with my, my left hand. It's so confusing. I'm not ambidextrous, yo. Beautiful. Wow. I think I love them. I'm done. Oh, I'm obsessed with them. I think that was fun. However, I'm not sure because I'm so tired. I just want to be done filming. I love my nails. I am quite obsessed with them. They look so cool in person. And I know these are gonna last like at least two weeks. So that makes me happy. They could have been a little bit more perfect. I will admit it, but we're working on it. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this. I think they look pretty damn cool. So I'm proud of myself. If you guys are not already subscribed, make sure you do that down below. You can also click the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. Thank you so much. Much. You can follow me everywhere else. Here you go. Boom. You can also check out my hair care brand and my hair color line at xmonohair.com. You can get all these colors that I have in my head today. They're so pretty. I'm obsessed. Or you can head to our Instagram for hair inspo at xmonohair for hair care and at xmonocolor for color. Make sure you guys text me. This number is really connected to my phone and I do see some of your messages. So text me. Do it up. And I'll be replying to a few of you guys if you text me right now. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Jackie and she says, Hi Brad, I want wavy hair, but it's very short. I want to get that blowout wave look on my hair sometimes. Also want a brush that can take out frizz, but let my curls waves remain intact. What should I buy? I'm not really understanding the question fully, but if you want more of like a wavy look, I would just use a very small, like three quarter of an inch curling iron and wrap the hair around it and release it and it'll give you like nice waves. And before the wave sets in place, brush it through and you'll get a nice wavy defined look. I hope that helps you, Jackie. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.